TurboTax continues to set the bar high for high quality software, but with high quality software, sometimes comes with a high price. In this video, we are covering the latest updates in 2022 for the TurboTax tax software. Hey guys, it's Justine with the College Investor, investing and personal finance for millennials. Today we are talking about TurboTax, you know the name, and does it actually live up to its hype? You've probably seen the commercials for it, the advertisements for it online, and if you are wanting to DIY your tax software this year, then I bet you're curious whether or not TurboTax is free. All right, so they do actually offer some free filing options for those who have W-2 income, unemployment income, or social security income that you want to report. Also, if you want to report the child tax credit or the earned income credit, you can also claim those credits as part of the free filing option. However, if you have anything beyond just those simple things, then you're going to have to upgrade into a paid package and that can be really steep depending on what time of year you are actually buying into the TurboTax software. Now I wanted to show you their pricing plan here. They actually have four different options and TurboTax is one of those tax softwares that is going to offer a discount early on in the tax season and then you're going to see those discounts diminish as we get closer to that tax filing deadline. So they have the free edition, which we've already talked about, the deluxe edition, so if you have any health savings accounts, you wanna report childcare, expenses you're going to have to upgrade at least into this deluxe edition plus there's the premier edition which offers investments and rental property features and then if you own your own business then you'll want to use the self-employed option which is also the most expensive pricing package that TurboTax offers so what's new in 2022? There's really three major features that we saw added this year. The first one being that TurboTax addresses all of the different options that were provided in the American Rescue Plan. Whether you received stimulus money or you received advanced child tax credit payments, those things are going to be addressed inside of the software. There's also service level options that you can include as part of your software. So you can get anything from audit support to live support from an enrolled agent or a CPA. Plus you can get identity theft monitoring as part of upgraded service level features. And finally, there's also the TurboTax full level service. This is basically their CPA way of having your taxes done. Basically, it's the old school pushing all of your tax documents to a CPA and then having them completely fill out your tax return for you. But if you're gonna go with that option, just be aware that that type of service, full, full service tax filing is going to come with a competitive price. But if you're still into using the tax software and DIYing this thing, let's jump into of the dashboard and let's pick out some of the notable features and drawbacks that we saw when we were testing out the software. TurboTax has some of the best user experience, user design in tax software. And what I like about this is that it has kind of this a vertical menu navigation where you can easily kind of pick and scroll through exactly which section of your tax return you need to work on next. So I was just in deductions and credits and I can quickly go back in and keep filling out my tax return. What I also like about TurboTax that's a lot different than a lot of tax software that we've seen is that it has this really easy to use question and answer guidance. So there's nothing else for me to click on. I can simply just focus on the question at hand and continue moving forward. 
Okay, another notable feature about TurboTax that I love is if you go over to the left-hand menu, you can click on Documents, and then you can upload all of your tax documents into the software, which can save you a ton of time. Now, if you are self-employed, you can also upload documents like QuickBooks because Intuit is also part of QuickBooks and TurboTaxes as well. Those things can be linked together so that you can quickly have those documents imported into TurboTax as well as things like Uber and Lyft. If you're using things as part of your business, those have integrations with TurboTax as well. You're also going to see these integrations for some of those upgraded features, such as talking to tax experts, getting audit assist, being able to get your questions answered and have a tax expert review your return. You can upgrade. It's going to cost 200 bucks for this TurboTax self-employed upgrade, but you do get this option to speak with a live expert and and have your tax return reviewed. Also, let's go up here and search for cryptocurrency. Now, if you have cryptocurrency and you want to report that either as as a sell or as a trade, you can do so very easily within the tax software. And I love how they use these quick, easy icons to help you determine which service that you've used and that you can easily click and continue. And then you can upload your crypto CSV file from whatever cryptocurrency program that you are using, which makes it so easy. Easy. This is one of the best cryptocurrency integrations that we've seen through our tax software reviews. You can also quickly navigate to different sections of your tax return and you'll see kind of a breakdown of the different menu items that you can go through, whether or not you have the child tax credit, any donations. These are things that I was already Q and A on before I started really going through my return. And so it's only going to show what I had answered yes to. You can also click here to see all of the tax breaks in case you are forgetting anything. Now, I think the notable drawbacks here are that TurboTax really does come at a high price, but I think this is a software where what you pay for is what you get. So even though you're paying a high price, you're actually getting a very premium tax software on the inside. There's also limited choices for that free filing option. So if you only have a W-2 and you want to claim the child tax credit, that's really all you can do in the free filing situation. Otherwise, you're going to have to upgrade into that deluxe or higher uh, pricing package. Plus, you're going to have to pay a premium for that live tax advice, as I have already shown you guys. But here in the upper right hand menu, you can also click here to upgrade. They're not going to let you forget. They're not going to let you forget that you can upgrade over here. So that's always going to be available to you right here in the upper corner. Plus, you can quickly just kind of go through your federal click around to income and expenses. And the guidance here is just second to none. So if you really want that premium, easy way to import your tax forms, easy question and answer guidance, then TurboTax might be the solution for you. And that's a quick look inside of the dashboard. TurboTax consistently sets the bar for best usability with tax software. I mean, you guys saw how easy it was to import your tax documents. The question and answer guidance was just some of the best that we've seen out of the tax software that we've reviewed. Now, this is going to come with the highest price out there. So if the cost is going to deter you from using this type of software, then you might be better off looking at bargain software such as TaxSlayer or Free Tax USA. Also, H&R Block has a very similar user experience for a slightly smaller price. Now, if you're still unsure of what tax software you want to use, don't forget we have complete walkthroughs and reviews of a bunch of tax software that's available 
to file your taxes this year at thecollegeinvestor.com.